So the last few nights I've been staying in this dormy house, which is just a 30 second walk to the first tee here at Burnham Barrow. And through there is where we're gonna have some breakfast. Now, whilst that breakfast was very good indeed, I can't even begin to tell you just how good the Sunday lunch is here. In fact, I'd travel the 400 mile round trip for that, let alone the golf. But of course, we didn't drive three and a half hours just for some breakfast and lunch. We are here to play a top 100 golf course in another man versus golf hole challenge. We're in Somerset and this is Burnham and Barrow Golf Club. The challenge starts here, it's the 12th, it's 408 yards off the yellow tees, it's the church and the green is somewhere down there. Right, so first of all, let's check the stroke index and uh, the bad news is it's 12, which means I don't get a shot. The pro's tip says that uh, at the church with a little bit of a cut, that kind of suits my shot shape. Question is, can we deliver on it? Okay, so I had a cut, but I didn't start it off on the right line. Just over the brow, uh, right hand side of the fairway. It wasn't the best drive I've ever hit, but hopefully we've got a second shot, but I've got a feeling it might be a long second shot. Right, we've got 193 uphill, which like I said, it wasn't the greatest of tee shots. I think we've actually got off a bit lucky because I think we've bounded down a little, but 193. Don't want to miss it right, as you can see. You don't want to miss it left either, as you can see. We need a decent shot hand. Right, I'm going to play four iron. Um, if anything, I'd rather be short and uh, try and rely on a, an up and down. But not the kind of uh, shot you want early in the morning. 193, was it? Right, come on. Nice and easy. Oh, that's a strike hand. Go ball, has it got enough legs? Oh, stay there. Do you know what, again, this just shows you just how good these courses are designed. I've got a feeling there's quite a severe slope into that green, and what's happened is I've pitched literally a couple of yards on, and it looks like it's dribbled back down. I'm not sure just how far, but I've got to be happy with that strike. What an incredible green complex that is. I mean, it's, it's narrow, and it just rises with two sort of different split levels to it. And unfortunately, you'll see very shortly that I pitched somewhere on this green and you'll see a, a line in the dew where I've rolled back down. And uh, I said I'd rather be short and rely on my short game, but uh, I'm debating whether I'd rather be long now. Ah, uh, do you know what? It's okay, it was a little bit bladey off the bottom, but it's kind of almost like the shot you needed, and, uh, well, I can't quite see, but we've got a chance of salvaging par. Well, do you know what? That wasn't too bad. It certainly needs to get up on the right tier, which we've managed to do there. We've got 10 or 12 feet, though, to try and make par. I mean, I think it's off the left. Not a huge amount in it, but with no shot, this has got to go in. And after the tee shot, this would be a decent par. Let's give it a chance. Left edge. Might have it, you know. He's got it. What a start to the morning that is. That was a par that I didn't see coming. And yet again, the old Mez works its magic. So we've started off with a bit of a half here and a decent one on my part. Right, after that miraculous par, next up is the 15th. I don't know who picked these holes, but that says 443 yards. That says it's a par four. And the only good news I've got is that it's stroke six. Right, okay, so this is, if you wanna know what championship links golf looks like, well, I reckon this hole is pretty much it. From that drone footage that I've been looking at that you're seeing right now is uh, we've got a few uh, humps and bumps to accommodate somewhere down there in terms of the fairway. I'm playing blind over the ridge and then we'll worry about the next shot. But at 4.43, 
I need a drive in the region of 250 just to leave me some kind of shot in still at 200 yards and if I tell you we're slightly into a headwind okay so slightly down the left hand side no cut on this one when I wanted it I see it bounding along it suggested to me that the fairway was just down that left hand side will be okay but yet again that's a long second shot in right so 214 in I've switched to sky caddy because I can only see the tip of the flag according to this there's no bunkers to worry about all the trouble is down the left hand side so we've got one of those typical scenarios if I'm going for the flag and the green then I'm going to be hitting something like probably a five wood uh, or if I play sensible I've got a stroke here I knock something down maybe 170 and rely on an up and down for a win or maybe up and two put still for the half what do we go with well as you can see we've decided to go with five wood and go for it i think when i say go for it we won't be at the flag we're going to be slightly right of target and uh, i don't want to go left is my only issue oh, and you've absolutely buttoned one i hope shot trace has got that oh that's a real weird bounce it's just taken because that was right on the flag stick and uh, it just seemed to take a bit of a hop over to the right hand side but i haven't got anything better than that with a five wood well i'm absolutely delighted to be on the green in two on this hole i can't believe it i think the bounce i referred to must have come off somewhere up here off high and it's hopped over to the right hand side and gathered we've got an interesting put over a bit of a ridge but to be honest with you i'll take anything around this green right now on this hole i'd have uh, well i'd have bitten your hand off for it i told you about championship links golf and that i was referring to distance off the tee um but to be honest with you now we've reached the green i said i had a ridge to uh, to, to put over but it's also a huge swing on this putt so we're by no means in uh well we're in three putt territory to be quite honest with you this has got to be a decent pace and line putt get to the brow and swing and go down the brow go down the brow Oof. that's decent oh, do you know what? i can't tell you how delighted i am with that par four maybe you should apologize because sometimes i applaud my own shots because there's nobody else around to do it and uh, well when you hit a five wood like that they don't come along very often and that two putt is a win don't forget i was on a shot Right, so for my final hole we're going to go backwards because yesterday i filmed some drone footage on the ninth hole and i'm going to make it our final challenge hole of this and this is the reason why two reasons because what a view this is in terms of a vantage point we're going to take it on from the black tees and if we turn that way you'll see what is a super par three and uh, as you can see pretty well guarded and that pin looks absolutely ridiculous we've got no chance but you know what i just don't know how you get close to that pin it's 175 two bunkers right in front and there just doesn't look any room between uh well the back of the bunkers and where that flag's situated what is the logical play here someone help me right okay so it's stroke index 17 which is a bit of a concern um because really i need a par i'm one up right now but this hole counts as triple points i really don't know what the sensible play is i've got five iron in hand i really just need to get on the green on the right hand side or feed once through the bunkers i think so right of flag trying to get uh, the main portion of the green okay well that's bang on in terms of the line and just be right in terms of yardage come back down come back down Or well, maybe took too long of a club there but i'll certainly take it we fed it right through the gap 
uh, and we're at the back side of the green it just fed off to what seems to be like the fringe so I think I'm reasonably pleased with that you know right okay um, I'm not too sure from the camera if you can pick it up but the movement in this green is significant to say the least as of all the greens to be honest with you and uh, we did well to avoid I think it's five bunkers but we've got a lot of work to do in terms of uh, trying to get up and down in two which would give me the win right we have got quite a swing off the right and we've also got to get the pace right to give ourselves a chance of a two put oh no that's not wide enough get up that rise at least get up that rise ah well a chance but we're still a long way from the hole wow right well, we've come down to literally a uh, as a lot of these do a one shot shootout as I like to call them because uh, if I hold this I win and if I don't Burn and Barrow wins I think we're going fairly firm at the hole because I can't read what this is doing but you can see from the first put there was a whole lot of movement positive stroke oh my word <laughs> I was literally in until the last few rolls but unfortunately that's a bogey four that hole at stroke index 17 from that tee box is a tough par and I imagine if you walk off on a medal on a Saturday with a par, you'd be pretty damn pleased with yourself. But for me, unfortunately, that means as this counts as triple points, I've lost. And uh, Burnham Barrow takes the victory, but what a three holes that was. And uh, hopefully you've watched part one. This is part two, and I've got part three coming from the nine hole channel course as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Right, thanks for watching as ever. Let me know what you think of Burnham and Barrow.